Hello everyone and welcome to another review by Emily Illustrator. Today we're going to be covering a range of gel pens. We have the 20 count, the Arteza 20 count retractable gel pens. We have the 14 count glitter gel pens and we have the 14 count metallic gel pens. Now I chose this range of them just so that we could get an idea of kind of everything. I know I use a lot of metallic and who doesn't love glitter? And not to mention, these ones have a nice soft grip. So we're going to explore all of them here so you can get a better idea of maybe which gel pens would be a good fit for you. So we are going to start with the retractable gel pens. Okay, so packaging first. We've got a little, uh, little plastic box here. I will say I probably would have preferred them in a little bit more of a long-term kind of tin. Um, Honestly, I'll probably end up storing these in a cup. But the nice thing is, is that in the box, just to keep them nice and straight, they've got these plastic little cards back here. And so that is, that's what these are clipped onto. So you can see we've got 20 different colors here. They are all 0.7 millimeters, well, all except one which is this one. These are all 0.7 millimeter uh, tips. They are, it comes with one black uh, fine point pen, which is 0.5 versus the others. I'll put it over here for the order that I have them in. Um, let's see, they, when you get them, for instance, on this orange one, they arrive with this little plastic nib, which is just right on the tip there. You can just pop it off. And the nice thing about that is that it helps to keep all of the pens nice and uh, it, has, it helps them not to dry out, you know, while they're on the shelf or, you know, before you buy them or while you're waiting to get them shipped. You can also see it's got the Arteza name right on the barrel where it says 0.7. Same thing with this black one where it says Arteza 0.5. They also have a soft coating on the outside which gives it a nice ergonomic grip. There are a wide range of colors, so you have plenty to choose from. Uh, using them, there is a nice smooth flow of ink, and there were zero dried out upon arrival. I know that can be the risk with pens sometimes, but they all came and the ink flowed perfectly, so that was great for that. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to a swatch of these, so you can see how these, uh, how the ink flows and how wide the uh, the line is. Now that we've done the retractable pens, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Arteza 14 count metallic pens. These also came in the, come in the same uh, kind of plastic case, so you just pop them on out. And same thing here, I'll probably end up storing them in a cup just because uh, the plastic cases um, aren't, I don't think they're necessarily long term cases that work well with that. So, like I said, there's 14 colors. They are anywhere from 0.8 to 1.0 millimeter tips. Um, they are, it's a pretty light casing. Like, it feels very light in your hand. Just pops right off. But the cool thing about these is that you can actually get uh, replacement ink for them. So, you know, you don't have to buy completely new pens. All you do is you unscrew them and pop them out and you put in the new replacement ink. I will say the only thing that I have found in using these that I'm not a fan of is because of the way that these are, when you color, the inside tube wiggles just a little bit. It doesn't affect the drawing. It was more of a, you know, while I was holding it, like, oh, that feels, you know, not, not solid. But I will say, like the retractable ones when they arrived, there were zero dried out and the ink flowed very smoothly. So I am pleased with that for sure. The other thing about these is it has a nice triangular barrel at the end here, which gives it a nice ergonomic grip as well. The nice thing is too, because they're metallic, we're going to go over and do a swatch here in just a bit and you'll see it has a pretty sufficient shine for uh, being metallic pens. So we're going to go ahead and do our swatch of those and then after that we're going to move on to our glitter gel pens. OK, 
Okay, so now that we have done the metallic gel pens, now we are going to move on to our glitter gel pens. Again, it's the same style box. Just pop them out here, and we have 14 of these. Now I have to say, out of trying all of those, these ones were probably my favorite. Now, maybe it's just because I like the glitter, but there, you know, it wasn't even just like pale glitter where it's kind of shimmery. Like these, the glitter in these are fantastic. And we're going to take a look at them when we do our swatches and you'll be able to see just how shiny it is. Like it's absolutely fantastic. I, like I said, these ones are probably my favorite. The other cool thing is just like the other ones, these ones, you can also replace the ink. So it just unscrews and then you just pop it right back in, screw back up and you're good. It also has the same kind of light feel that the metallic pens do. I didn't find that these ones wobbled at all. Um, I mentioned, you know, with the metallic one that when you color with it, it wobbles a little bit. These ones don't really. These ones are a bit more solid. It has the same uh, triangular barrel, so it's easy grip. Uh, like I said, it's got a good glitter to ink ratio. Like, it's, it's really fantastic. And same with the other two. There were zero dried out upon arrival. So um, we're going to go ahead and do our swatches for these glitter gel pens, and then you'll be able to see uh, just how, how much of a shine it gives you. So I don't normally do an entire page in gel pens, but because we were reviewing just gel pens, I wanted to go ahead and do it. This is another uh, postcard from Johanna Basford's uh, Lost Ocean set of postcards, which, like I said before, as we all know, have some pretty tiny details. So I was able to get all of these done, and you can see just how shiny it is. I did a combination of the retractable gel pens, the metallic gel pens, and the glitter gel pens. I'm going to zoom in nice and close here so you can also see just how shiny these are. I mean, that glitter on there, it is just, it sparkles. There you go, in the fin, all the way down to the tail. So, yeah, needless to say, I was very pleased with all of these. You got a strong flow of ink all the way throughout, good shine for the metallic pens, and that glitter, oh man, I am a big fan. I will definitely be using these more because a lot of times I use this mostly for just embellishment on my pages, but yeah, I'm very pleased with the result on this one. And there we have it. That was a review for our Arteza 14 count metallic gel pens, 14 count glitter gel pens, and 20 count retractable gel pens. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.